so good. I am inclined to tune in just like I should. All right, Neil. Mm. Number nine, we can start with something real simple posted by writer Sophia Benoit. Some fun photos from a few years back. She's below average height. He's way above average height. Huh. She is Kristen Chenoweth. She's 4'11". He is Boban Marjanovic. Who plays you for the, Thank you for the Dallas Mavericks. Shout out to the writer for putting a real good yeah, pronunciation in there. You read that right away. Not thank a you. hesitation. Yeah. Not I know. Stumble. Did you pre read that? I did that not. Cold? I did yeah. not. Wow. That's why she's Robin. in the big chair and yeah. the two of us are flanked yeah. outside mm -hmm. here. Yeah. So she's 4'11". He's 7'3". Wow. Oh, wow. wow. Isn't that fun? <laughs> See? Because he's tall and she's short. That's right. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Uh, number eight, here's something you might not know. It almost never rains or snows in Antarctica. Really? Huh. Technically, it's a desert, and there's not much humidity there. When it does snow, the snow doesn't melt. In fact, it's accumulated over thousands of years until it compresses and turns into ice. Huh. Well, how about that? That is a great fun fact. Yeah. What kind of say? little something I just pulled out of my hat to share good, with yeah. everybody today. Good for you, Patrick. Number seven, the mystery of the cliff that lays eggs huh. has been solved. There's huh. an uneven hill in central China that will emit odd-shaped rocks every three decades. Boy. They're usually perfectly smooth. Geologists have found that the cliff was formed during the Cambrian period, oh, yeah. which is one of my favorites. Yeah, one, yeah. one of the top three. <laughs> it's about five, yeah. 500 million years best. ago, <laughs> and they have figured out that the rocks are actually sediment deposits, mm. and the rock around it is full of calcium, which erodes over time, usually about 30 years. Oh. So as the decades go, the cliff erodes around these deposits and spits out these rocks. <laughs> How about that? That was a good spitting sound effect. Yeah. yeah. Is that what that was? Oh, I like yeah. it. worked. Uh, so much education. So <laughs> right. I know. Yeah. Uh, number six, uh, from time to time, we'll take a real letter from an advice column and see if we can help. Uh, this is from Confounded in Alabama. It says, Dear Abby, I'm a 45-year-old man. When I was in high school, I couldn't get a date. I'm not unattractive but I was somewhat of a social outcast. In recent years, I have reconnected with several people I went to high school with and returned to my hometown for a short visit. I was overwhelmed with attention from women who wouldn't give me the time of day 25 years ago. I'm not rich, but I have a stable job. I'm constantly contacted by women who used to never look in my direction to ask me if it's possible to become romantically involved. Should I be suspicious of these offers? This is a great story. Yeah. No, this just all gets down to what kids in high school value is so much different than what adults value. Right. Right? Oh. Like, if you're peaking in high school, it's not, not good. Yeah. The future yeah. is not bright for you. It's also a measure of the older you get. You're, you know, your you your options, options become you more. Standards. You lowered standards, right. and you realize what's important. It all balances out, you yeah. know. So, but that doesn't mean they're necessarily shallow. Maybe they didn't remember them from back then. They yeah. weren't connecting, right. right? And here's the other thing: if you're quiet kids in high school, nobody wants to make the effort to engage with you. Right. It's like, right. if, if the relationship's going to be difficult, eh, I'm off to the next thing. You're right. And also, anybody who's looked up old high school classmates on Facebook, you realize right away, the years have not been kind <laughs> to many of them. Yeah. So if you just maintain your average looks for the next 20 to 25 years, you're going to win. You're going to look really good yeah. compared to a lot of those goblins at that high school. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. I'm going to tell them to stay suspicious. <laughs> don't trust any of these crazy ladies. They're after your money and your body. They don't care about your heart or your soul. Well, maybe that's hey, okay listen, with him. At this point, he's got some lost <laughs> time he's got to make up for. That's right. That's he was right. a social outcast. It is true that high school favors the extroverts, though. Yes. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Because that's, it's like it's all about image and mm -hmm. who makes the loud, you know? So it's like play yeah. the long game. Right. Yeah. Play the long game. Yeah. All right, number five, balloon jeans. No cap, oh, as yeah. Paul would say. Yeah. This drip is iconic. It is. They are also known as bubble or barrel wow, pants. They are yeah, loose something. like straight leg styles. Plus they have a uh, high waist and tighter hem around the they ankles. Are so hot oh right my now. god, they're, they're giving terrible. me life. These 
are flattering to about 2% of the population. Yeah, I'm just wow. gonna, oh, look at the pleated jeans. Remember that? Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. The Gen Xers will remember those pleated jeans or the uh, Z Cavaricis uh, that even bring that up. Pat Tomasulo and used to tight roll the jeans. Remember these no, with no, the I, flaps, the acid wash? No, I couldn't it's like fit surprise. into Z Cavaricis. That was the problem. <laughs> It was painful memory for you? They only made them in men's sizes, and apparently yeah. I didn't have a waist that fit into any men's yeah. sizes. Oh, yeah. But, you know. Not for every body type. Not for everybody. The good thing yeah. is, totally fine. <laughs> right. Uh, number four, here's a spin on a holiday uh, drink for you to try. Uh, cola de mono. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or monkey's tail. Ooh, it's right. from Chile. It includes milk, sugar, and spices like clove and cinnamon. Ooh, sounds delightful. Coffee is also yeah. included. Ooh. Then there's booze. All right. They sometimes uh -huh. use pisco. Yeah. Or which pisco, is a, as they say on the south side. Which <laughs> is a uh, great brandy uh -huh. <laughs> for Chileans. Nothing says holidays like cola de mono. You're right. The drink has a few customary ingredients, including milk. Are we reading this all yeah, right? Yeah, we're repeating. People good. didn't get it the first time. They're right. Yeah, it has to be done. Keep going. How much of everything? How many uh, sugar ounces? Sugar and Splash. spices and... Yeah. yeah. Is well, coffee included? <laughs> coffee yeah, is Yeah, well... And I'll tell you what else, Larry. <laughs> it's okay to add booze every now and again. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, the there national. we go. Yeah. yeah. Good. Monkey <laughs> tail. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Number three, another great tweet from our pal Ricky Cobb, who runs Super 70 Sports. It says, the ratio of looks like fun to actual fun is wider here than with any other product ever produced Boy, by mankind. That is the truth. Now, is that the magnetic this football? This is the old yeah, NFL electric, electric football. Turn it on, it yeah. wasn't magnetic. Uh, let's listen. <laughs> is this what happened? Yeah. My yeah. son got one of these. And they like fell down. Years Everybody ago. fell. I like, have one. Like and no you couldn't do it. You couldn't direct like that. No, no. All you could do is set it up and they'd all fall down. Maybe Two one guy with the ball like would go the Rams and a couple of inches. Their own color it was being patterned by the tight end on that play. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> NFL electric. The company Tudor Games has Tudor. actually reissued this, and there are guys out there who say there actually is strategy to this. Uh, and plays that you can call. Yeah. So right. when you turn it on, these things just go crazy. <laughs> it happens so fast. That's the old because, hook and ladder. Yeah. And hook and hook and hook and hook. The do si do. The do So they still make that, Paul? Yeah, they're, they're yeah. I got one a few years back. Yeah, now. I got one a few years back. Yeah. We used to like, um, I think we used to like tap it with a quarter or something because it would move more slowly right. so you could Jeez. figure out what the guys uh. were doing. And then you could stop it and then make the pass and kind of. Yeah. Well, that makes it more fun. It was. <laughs> yeah. My son played it once and looked at me like, what, what this is, is this? Terrible. This is terrible. <laughs> He's right. All right, number two. Uh, looky here. It's an airbag for the urban cyclist. It wraps around your neck like a scarf, and if you're riding your bike, come on. When it's an accident, the airbag oh, inflates that. to protect your head. Look at that. It's from wow. a company in Sweden. They say it's the world's safest head protection. It has sensors that are constantly reading the bike rider's movements up to 200 times wow. a second. They wow. They did thousands of tests and reenacted lots of accidents, so they got an algorithm Whoa. that knows if you're in an accident uh, as opposed to just hopping off your bike. Wow. That's kind of cool. Huh. Oh. Now, boom. Whoa. Great wow. video here. Oh. Whoa! And it's cute, too. They may want to add some different colors. Yeah, it doesn't protect you from a broken femur that yeah. some of these yeah. stunt people are probably suffering. Yikes. Better than nothing, though. That's nice. All right, number one in the list today, we uh, we shared the Chris or yesterday we uh, shared the Christmas album that played in our houses when mm -hmm. we were kids. Uh, a Swedish Chicagoan told us all about the great Yogi Jorgensen. Oh, he's the character created by comedian Harry Stewart, an exaggerated version of a Swedish American. And who can forget this holiday classic? I just go nuts at Christmas. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, I just go nuts at Christmas. On that jolly holiday, I'll go in the red like a knucklehead, cause I'll squander all my pay. Oh, I just go nuts at Christmas, shopping sure drives me berserk. 
On the day before I rush in a store Like a poor bewildered jerk I look at night counts for my wife Those black ones trimmed in red nice. But I won't know her size And so she'll get a carpet sweeper instead Oh, oh nice. buddy so nuts at Christmas When each kid hangs up his sock It's a time for kids to flip their lids While their papa goes in <laughs> hock yeah. That went in the rotation of the old Conrad yeah. household too, or now? I believe so. I think it is now, right? Yeah. 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 Wow. yeah. 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 Say no more. Yeah. On the night before All Christmas. right, that's the night at nine. Sweet night.